being finalized, Mr. President. Any objection? He has been silent for months. All throughout newspaper exposés, a plunder complaint, and an ombudsman investigation. But it took one woman to get him talking. Miriam Defensor Santiago. Senate Minority Leader Juan Ponce Enrile fires back at his fiercest rival for allegations she made during the Senate probe into the pork barrel scam. Sinabi ng Senadora sa Blue Ribbon hearing na ako daw ay may asim pa. May asim pa. Ginong Pangulo, nagpapasalamat ako sa kanya. Kanyang sinabi na ako ay may asim pa. Ngunit, Ginong Pangulo, ikinalulong kutong sabihin at masakit mang banggitin. Banggit Hindi po ako naaasiman sa kanya. Enrile denies plotting to assassinate alleged mastermind Janet Napolis to prevent her from pointing to him as the real brains behind the scandal. The defense minister during the martial law regime says he is not murderous. Mr. President, I never murdered anyone during all my almost 90 years on this planet. But for one, for someone to say with impunity that I killed someone deliberately, I do not know if there are any who did in this Senate. Or that I'm planning anyone's murder is the grandmama of all falsehood fabricators. Enrile even responds to Santiago's statement that a bodyguard with a long firearm accompanies him to the restroom. I never realized until that blue ribbon hearing that we have a peeping tom in the Senate. While he devotes his speech to attacks against Santiago, Enrile barely addresses her claim that he orchestrated the plunder of taxpayers' money. Only any name and bitterly hostile minds will fabricate such a canard. Suffice it to say that there will be a time and a more auspicious, appropriate forum to deal in detail with the alleged Spidak scam. Instead, Enrile traces the root of Santiago's anger. He says Santiago is getting back at him for opposing her confirmation as agrarian reform secretary and refusing to give her committees with big budgets. He says for all her pride, Santiago is not the legal expert she presents herself to be. Well, I'm sorry to say, Mr. President, that this former judge does not seem to understand the basic meaning of due process. Now I know why she nearly flunked her bar examination. A parrot, Mr. President, can memorize legal principles, but it cannot apply them. Santiago is on sick leave but vows to retaliate in her own privileged speech on December 4th. Enrile versus Santiago. They are two of the most prominent legal luminaries in the country whose careers and rivalry endure decades and controversies. As they fight it out over the pork barrel scam, observers hope the privileged speeches won't just be personal and entertaining, but help the public get to the truth of this massive corruption scandal. I am Raig, Rappler.